We are in Piedmont, in the southwestern plain of Vercelli. On the confluence of the Po with the Dora Baltia lies the small town of Crescentino. This small farming community surrounded by rice fields is now attracting the world's attention from China to Russia, from Brazil to the United States, because Crescentino is now hosting the first industrial scale plant in the world for the production of second generation bioethanol. That is to say, not derived from edible raw materials, but from giant reed and crop residues. The cleanest and most environmentally friendly fuel available on Earth. One that only few people had deemed feasible. Today, oil makes the world move. Emissions derived from fossil fuels are the main cause of the global warming. A big commitment is in place to lower these emissions, and biofuels are part of the solution to the problem. Today, ethanol is mostly made with sugarcane, corn or potatoes, all edible plants that lend themselves very well to the fermentation process. But the use of these raw materials to make biofuels subtracts arable land from food crops and makes the price of the raw materials skyrocket with detrimental consequences on the cost of foodstuffs. There is more. If we include the use of fertilizers and farming equipment, the resulting CO2 emissions equal those generated by fossil fuels. Therefore, it was necessary to find a different way of producing bioethanol and actually several research teams have been working in this field for many years now. Through an investment of 150 million euro over five years, Biochemtex of the Mossi Gesolfi Group, with the collaboration of the Polytechnic of Turin, Enea, and a Danish company named Novozymes, has developed Proeza, a technology that makes it possible for the first time in the world to produce bioethanol from cellulose and to make it on an industrial scale at competitive costs. This is second generation bioethanol. The Proeza technology works as follows. In the first generation process, the biomass is derived from food crops like corn or sugarcane that have short molecules which yeasts can easily digest, since non-food biomass contains cellulose molecules that are too long to be digested by yeasts, and even worse, are trapped in lignin. So far, it has been impossible to solve this problem on an industrial scale, but with Proeza, we can do so. Biomass is subjected to a number of thermal, mechanical and biochemical processes aimed at breaking down the molecules into sugar, which is then converted into ethanol through fermentation. Additionally, the lignin and the biogas obtained during the process are used to generate electricity. As a result, the plant in Crescentino is fully self-sufficient from the energy perspective. The advantages compared with the previous generation of biofuels are huge. The cost of the product is competitive compared with oil, flexible equipment deployable anywhere, total absorption of carbon dioxide, reuse of lignin and biogas, polluting emissions almost reduced to zero. In order to test the entire process, first a pilot plant was built in Rivalta Scrivia, near Alessandria, where the Biochemtex Research Center is located. Since the results were positive, the big step was taken, building the first plant in the world based on the Proesa technology. The area chosen was the former Texid plant in Crescentino, in the province of Vercelli, which manufactured automotive components. The first stone was laid on April 12, 2011, and at the end of 2012, the plant was already up and running. According to calculations, in the next few years, some 2,400 plants similar to the Crescentino plant will be required worldwide. And Beta Renewables, the company established by Biochemtex, Texas Pacific Group and Novozymes, are ready to set them up anywhere. The first contracts have already been signed in Brazil, in Colombia, in the United States and others are about to be finalized. The plant in Crescentino is not only an outstanding entrepreneurial achievement, but also an example of the results that can be achieved by triggering a virtuous circle that involves a company that is investing in innovation, a collaboration with the university, and the experimental work done by young researchers. 
for a greener and greener future.